Hi, this is Eric with ForgeCon Conclusions. Today we're going to be making stud earrings. So these are our settings, these are the backs, and we have our stones. Today we're using a four and a half millimeter moissanite. And then what's cool about this project is it has these interesting backs. So these are a back system called Protector. They are labeled on the back. And how it works is the little tabs that are on it are actually spring loaded. And when you push down, no, when you push down on the tabs here, the spring goes in and it's got a little, uh, some metal in there. And that metal actually will go around the little cut grooves on the post. So these are ultra secure um, and require less maintenance than your traditional friction back where you might you lose the friction back or a screw back which the threading on the screw backs can get damaged um, over time. We're going to attach the posts onto the settings and then we're going to set the stones into the setting. It is common prong so should be great. All right let's get started. We have our settings, so we marked out and drilled where center is. So we're going to have solder and we're going to attach these posts to this. So we're trying to make it so that way A, it's center and B, the post is straight. So now we're going to set the stones into the settings. The princess cut has points on it. When you set this type of stone into one of these settings, you have to make sure that the point is clear of metal. And what we'll end up using is like a ball burr and we'll bore into the setting. And that way it'll make contact on the outside of the stone essentially and kind of keep the metal from touching the points. So we have our settings, uh, right now they're in a material called Jet Set. So we cut in the holes and that's where our stone's going to go in. Uh, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to pull back the prongs a little bit, slot the stones in, and then we're going to bring the metal in closer and that's going to lock the stone in place. So we have our stone and we cut into the prongs to give it uh, space so that way the point can go in. So now that the stone is sitting in there, you can see that it's got, there's clearance. Uh, you want a little bit of clearance on the top part so that way when you bring the prongs over, uh, there's enough room to grab the stone and not damage it. And when you're doing settings, you always want to try and get the stone as low as you can to, instead of like sitting really high up. Uh, we have to keep in mind that these are earrings and having a little bit more of a lower profile is good. We also want to make sure that there's nothing sharp so that way your hair doesn't get caught in it. So there's a lot of things going on uh, when we're like going through the process of constructing earrings. And now the next part of this is we're going to cut down the prongs and make them more rounded uh, so that way they're not sharp and catchy. Here we're using a rubber blue wheel. It has polishing compounds in it. And what we're doing is we're shaping the rest of the prong so that way it's not catchy. So the first step was using the, uh, that burr to cut down the sharpness of the prong, and then this is kind of finishing it off. At this stage, 
we're in the tail end of it. We're going to polish up the outside of the earrings. So we're here we have it. We have our moissanite stud earrings. And again, you could use a variety of different gemstones or diamonds, um, you know, with studs. And these backs again are protector. They have a spring system and they'll lock in there. All right, this is Eric with Forge Gone Conclusions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Thanks for watching.